22 containers filled with pipes valued at over EC $4.5 million are on island. A major boost to Grenada's efforts of increasing climate change resilience in the water sector. Head of projects at GIZ, Dr. Hans Werner Tyson, has been part of a team that has been instrumental in this project. This is really a milestone for the project. You see, after several months and almost two years of planning, designing the whole infrastructure project, the milestone is really the beginning now of the implementation of the infrastructure within the G-Cruise project. You cannot buy just a pipe in a supermarket. Yeah? You have to make a complete set of design and planning. That takes a long time. So that was done by Nawasser. We are also waiting, maybe begin next year or yeah, maybe first quarter, we are waiting for the arrival of the water tanks. And then once we have water tanks and pipes here on the island, we can build a complete set of the water supply system, which will be a milestone also for Grenada to get a more resilient water supply here on the island. The G Cruise project introduces a complete paradigm shift in the water sector of Grenada. Under this project, there will be the development of new water supply from St. Margaret's River construction of a new dam at Les Avocats St. David's, the installation of 16 treated water storage reservoirs at locations throughout the island, including Kariku, and the installation of 20-kilometer pipelines at locations throughout the island. Wim Cox is the manager of Nawasa's planning and development department. What's next for us is, of course, the implementation or the installation of these, of these pipes. To date, we've already completed the shortlisting of the contractors, potential contractors, and um, in the coming weeks, early January, we're going to be issuing them the request for bids for the installation of the pipes, and immediately after that, we're going to commence um, the pipe installation. By the end of the first quarter in 23, we should be seeing the tanks here on, on island, um, and we're going to, under this tranche, we're going to install six tanks, and then another six tanks under the second under the second component. So um, uh, end of first quarter, tanks should be here. Pipes and tanks together, we have complete systems, more resilience, more water storage on island, and better supply for Grenadians overall. Deputy Head of Projects at GIZ, Marion Geese, says more are in store under this project for Grenada's water sector. This is only one part of the Chikru's project, so we're looking also at other solutions to increase our water supply, increasing and looking also at the um, equipping of health centers and medical stations with rainwater harvesting and better supply storage. We're looking at the uh, rainwater, communal rainwater harvesting, um, but we're also looking at things like PV installation, renewable energy in the Nawasa network and um, also improved imp uh, operations, including um, loss detect uh, leak detection and water loss reduction. The GCRIS project is jointly financed by the Green Climate Fund and the German Federal Ministry for the Environment, Nature Conservation and Nuclear Safety. Under its International Climate Initiative, the Government of Grenada and the German Development Corporation GIZ to the tune of EC, $125 million.